As long as the natural gas up here doesn't get too thin. Oh man. <laughs> that is a problem. Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with oxygen not included, the oil upgrade. So I've moved uh, a few things around since the last uh, video I did. I had my hydrogen uh, set up here with my vent and everything. But uh, as mentioned by a commenter, and I kind of already knew this, but I thought they had fixed it. I read in the forums that they were fixing this. But light gases uh, tend to go to the top left, like hydrogen. And heavy gases like CO2 tend to fall to the bottom right. So having my hydrogen generator and hydrogen collection in the top right here didn't make any sense. All the hydrogen was over here. So I moved the whole apparatus up here. I put an Atmo switch on so it only kicks in if the pressure gets above 800 grams. That way it's not wasting energy. Uh, there's not much hydrogen in here right now. I was thinking of cracking this open just to let this hydrogen up. And I could do that, but... I also moved our Atmos switch, or not Atmos switch, our uh, exosuit docks right here. They were up here before, but this is kind of the sealed part of the base here, so I thought I'd move them down. And I started digging this way a bit. Uh, we found this uh, this room here. We haven't gone in yet. I guess I should assign someone. Maybe Sky Blue can go in there. And we got a morb in there. Um, oh yeah, we got these lockers too. We can check those out. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Complete the neural process. Okay. Rock crusher trait. Plus 10 to strength. Wow. That's awesome. It's a good trait to have. Oh, and I also moved our food. So the food was out in the open before and it was kind of along here. But it was getting too warm in here, it's like 31 degrees, so the mealwood stopped growing. So I put them all in these sealed rooms, and I'm pumping CO2 into these rooms. And I'm cooling it up here. So the CO2 exhaust from the natural gas generators goes through this thermoregulator here. And I put two wheeze warts there to keep it cool. So far it's working. So that CO2 is about 22 degrees perfect temperature for mealwood so that goes in there and it's overpressurized right now the nice thing about co2 for mealwood is that nothing will rot so all the stuff on the ground is is uh, sterile so nothing will rot so it can just pile up on the ground this oxygen up here it eventually will probably find its way out so here's our rooms right now looking pretty good I'll probably put more bedrooms here and we got space up here. I had the printing pot off, and I'll probably leave it off for now. Actually, we, we can turn it back on. I also have moved some power around so that it was a bit more balanced. But what I want to do in this episode... Oh yeah, we're running out of polluted, wa polluted water, which is kind of funny. We're running out of it there, and we're running out of it here. Just from using it here in the at these therm, uh, fertilizer makers. So these are actually going to not produce at full output, because we don't have enough polluted water. I've never actually had that problem before. <laughs> uh, and this is getting a bit hot here. So I put a wheeze wart there, and a wheeze wart here. Oh yeah, I extended the chlorine storage, and so far it's working really well. All the food in here should be sterile. Oh, there's a hatch in there. Hmm, how did he get in there? Anyway, not a, not a problem. So I've let the game run for many cycles since the last recording, and we built up some petroleum and our polymer press. Oh, why isn't it not running? Oh, not enough. Petroleum, I guess. 
So it hasn't overheated since uh, we put it in there. So this water cooling seems to be working. I suspect this room is slowly warming up. Uh, yeah. So we can always add more resorts if need be. And this time, in this episode, I want to get the... I want to get the petroleum generator going. I've actually never used it before. So, what's the deal here? It likes petroleum. Oh, it gives off polluted water. It gives off a ton of power and quite a bit of heat. So I was thinking of building it uh, right here. So we will try that out. Oh, we're going to need heavy watt wire, actually. Which is not great. Maybe that's not the best place for it. Hmm. The other alternative is to put it up in our power plant here. Which would make more sense. And then we could... All this water that's dripping on it from the natural gas generators could c kind of cool it. But then we'd have to run the petroleum all the way up here. The alternative is to bring the is to use heavy watt wire in here and bring the power that it's generating up here, or we could just use this power to power this whole system and get rid of these coal generators. That might actually work out better. So I'll try here now in this place, and if it doesn't work out, I can always move it. I probably want this tile to be regular tile. And we're going to need to pipe uh, pipe from this tank. No one else seems to want to come down here. Now it could be because there's no suits here. Oh, there we go. So they should be able to come down. Oh, here they come. <laughs> so I'll let them build all this and then I'll come back. So it's running now. Uh, I also added a power transformer up here and ran some heavy watt wire up here and then I'll feed this back into this whole circuit here in a second just want to keep an eye on this as it's running because it's probably going to heat up a bit we are, oh and I also put in this, uh, I split the pipe from this polluted water and I'm dripping some of that on here as well so that should keep it cool try speeding it up and kind of watch the temperature Okay, so I can probably lead this wire in a wire bridge. Might as well use gold. And plug that in here. So that'd be one kilowatt. So we can get rid of one of these coal generators, I think. Once this is all connected. So far, so good, though. Now, is that wire bridge going to be in the way? I wanted to put in two power transformers, actually. Uh, that is kind of going to be in the way. But we can put it where this coal generator is. Once they finish building it. Okay, that's all connected now. So we should be able to take these coal generators out of the loop. So it all seems to be working. I added some batteries on the main heavy watt wire circuit over here. And this uh, one power transformer is powering this and this and this now. It's all on one circuit. So the max, uh, max power consumed is 960, just at the limit. And I added a battery here for buffering. But one thing I noticed is that the oil level here is starting to go down already. It was up here before. So what I'm thinking of doing is kind of digging down and moving our pump down to this level. So I'll probably put, uh, put some ladder down this way. And let that oil kind of 
work its way down. Kind of like that. I think that should work. So this will be the new floor. And I probably want to get in here. Try to use this. These require a ton of water though. Let's just see. So under oil well. Actually it used to be 5,000 grams per second of water. Now it's 1,000 grams. Interesting. So I guess they made it a little bit easier. We could try putting our oil well on one of these. Maybe this one. So I'll let them dig in here first. We'll get this all nicely set up. Oh, we have new dupes. Let's see who we got here. Two slow learners. These guys are almost identical. Small bladder. Uh, we'll, we'll keep looking. So we got diamond now, but I don't think there's any use for it yet. Gotta keep an eye on this. Make sure it's all good temperature. We can probably put it in our second transformer. I think I'll stick it right here. And put the heavy watt wire kind of around like this. And we'll have our second circuit kind of come off this way. Stick a battery in. And then maybe we'll use this power for the oil pump once we get down there. We should probably get another pump ready down there. Stick that right there, I guess. There's a lot of oil down here, too. Once I've dug all this out, I'll come back uh, and I'll replace this pump here. So I'll come back in about however long this takes. So I brought power down from that second circuit here. It's powering this pump and this pump. And I moved it down to the bottom, kind of cleared out this area a bit. So all the oil should flow down to this little valley here. And I got power ready to go over here and some, I let some plumbing lines down for fresh water. So we're going to try to put an oil pump here. Oil well, I should say. Now, how do we do this? Just like that, I guess. It's been a while since I built this. Okay, this is unreachable. Uh, they should be able to walk there. Hmm. Why can't they get there? Unreachable. Oh no. Sometimes the game is weird. It says unreachable when it's not unreachable. So it's gonna need water. Oh, we got some new dupes. Let's see what we got. Wow, three positive modifiers, but flatulence. We don't want that. We don't want tooting in the base. Loud sleeper. Irritable bowel. This guy's not too bad. Max. We'll let Max in. Oh, we got a bit of... Oh, I always freak out when there's a new member in the colony because they come in with 95% immunity. Unreachable bed. Oh. The game lies. It lies to us. I should let, let this little guy out here. And this this oil well, I haven't I don't have much experience with it. I'm not sure how the back pressure stuff works. But it's just gonna dump its oil on the ground here. Which should be okay if it, it'll just flow up into here. Overheat temperature 2000. Okay. Should be fine. <laughs> Empty pipe. What am I missing? Oh, here comes the water. See this puppy in action. 
Here it goes. Looking good. Wonder what the CO2 pressure in here is. Oh, it's actually really low. Even though we've been pumping all our excess CO2 in here, pressure is really low. These guys are just eating the CO2 like crazy. Carbon dioxide zero. Oh yeah, I, I read in the forums that these guys, if you give them too much CO2, they'll just build it up in their bodies and they can store like crazy amounts of CO2. I guess if they would, if they ever died after that, they would give off a bunch of CO2, but they seem to be eating it all no problem, which is awesome. Good way to get rid of our CO2. He has escaped, kind of. <laughs> Okay, how's all this doing? Oh, look how cool it is. Minus 16. I think that's how it's been this whole time. So these weight warts are doing their job. Carbon dioxide, 6 kilograms. It's getting high pressure in here. We may need to pipe that out. Where's all the natural gas? Oh, there's a little bit here. Well, this petroleum generator is actually made out of plastic. Melting point 76. Yeah, I cut off the circuit right here. Before we were powering it with a circuit from above, but now it's all self-contained. And we have a bit of excess power. Oh no, max gas pressure. Yeah, we gotta open these doors. That'll let all this CO2 flood out into here if I open these as well. Now there should be some natural gas in here too, we don't want that out to let that out, but I think it'll be okay. So all the doors are open. We could pump out the CO2, but that'd be a waste of energy I think. But it kind of would be better to pump it out. And then we can control the environments a lot better. But do we have the excess power to do that? Not really. We could just pump everything out. If the pressure is too high. Yeah, that CO2 should just squeeze its way down here. Which is super low pressure down here. And just keep everyone happy down here. I should actually dig this out. And make it gas permeable. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the sink. So back pressure 44%. 45, 46. I really don't know how to. Oh. Pressure release. Oh, I think a dupe will come and relieve the pressure. If this gets to 75. Okay, I think that's how it works. Uh huh. So we'll keep an eye on that. Actually, let's set it to 50 and just see if they come and fix it when it hits 50. So someone, oh, here come, here they come. Aha, aha, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Are they gonna do that forever? <laughs> nope, that's pretty funny. Okay, we'll set it back to 75. That's cute, a little horn, a little whistle. So it's almost level with this, these tiles here. So I'll keep an eye on that. And we got another one here we could use. And I think we have the water to do it. But we don't really need to do it just yet. Let all the CO2 fall down, make these little guys happy. And we have a new dupe. 13 strength! Hello? Welcome, Gossman. Now it's possible we're using up our petroleum faster than we're making it. Well, this is still max gas pressure. Okay, we gotta pump that stuff out. We probably want a Atmos switch. That way we're only going to start pumping if the pressure gets too high. 
And we need to do this from this circuit, I think. I think that'll work. I think it'll be reachable. I haven't looked at the base in a while. Hopefully everything is okay. Looking good. Chronically out of polluted water. But that's okay. We're not that's not a bad thing. As long as the natural gas up here doesn't get too thin. Oh man. <laughs> that is a problem. That is a big problem. Okay, we need to cut off the line to these to these guys. But yeah, we are out of natural gas. Or we're going to be out of natural gas. Kind of good timing that I looked. So we need polluted water pretty badly. Now really we should be putting this polluted water from the bathroom directly into this tank over here. Don't really have a line for that yet, but I will make one. So I'll lead the polluted water over here instead into this tank. And I'll do that off camera because it's going to take a while. So we'll do that. And we'll try to find some polluted water we can actually pipe in. Some here. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit once that's all piped in. Okay, I just realized something. Uh, this petroleum generator, it gives off a ton of polluted water, almost a kilogram a second. And the natural gas generators, I feel like they made them produce less, but they produce, actually I should have done it from here, um, they only produce 67 grams per second now. So ideally our petroleum generator would be here, not way down there. But that would mean we'd have to pipe our petroleum up from here. Oh, we're almost out of it too. And then we'd have to lead the power back down. Or we could pump some of this polluted water up into the base. That might be the cleanest way actually. It's going to be a long pipe though. We could go this way kind of sneak around. But we can't take all this polluted water because some of it's doing some cooling. But actually we can rate limit it to the to 1250 or whatever this thing is doing. Actually we should branch off here and take it up and over. So I'm going to do that. At least that way we'll be getting some polluted water over into our fertilizer area. So I change things around a bit. I uh, first of all I put in a polluted water pipe that goes up here. So we're pulling from here. I've set this valve to 2400. Comes up this way. Some of it drips out here. Oh, I just realized some of it drips out here. This should have a flow regulator on it. Anyway, uh, and then some comes along here and it splits again. Some of it's falling here and some of it's going up here. Up, up, up. And over and I've got a flow valve here as well. Set at a thousand. And how much is actually making it through? Oh, a thousand. Okay, that's good. And I dug all this out, a little area here just to lead the pipe up and now it's draining into this area here. I still don't see the water accumulating yet, but it should, as long as we're not using it too fast. And that should allow these fertilizer makers to kind of run all the time and build back our natural gas. Oh yeah, it's already kind of coming back a little bit. As long as this is backed up like this, that's a good thing. <laughs> Means all our power is running. Digging into that slime made Frankie a little bit ill, but I think he'll be okay. And I had to put in some deodorizers just to clear out all this nasty, nasty crap. Nasty air. In fact, I should probably seal this. Now there's some polluted water here we could accumulate.
accumulate if we ever need to here, here, and here. And here, and here. Yeah, we could make a giant pool down here if we need more. But I think this will start to build up. Our buffer batteries here are doing okay. How's the temperature? Oh, pretty warm. 40 degrees. Holy crap, look at the temperature in this bedroom. Why is this so hot? Actually, it's 40 degrees everywhere in the base here. I guess all this heat is spilling out. That's not good. We're going to need more Weezworts. But this episode's getting a bit long. So I might wrap this up. So I'm pretty happy we got the uh, we got the oil well working. Got all our oil pumps going. We're gonna probably need some more water at some point. Oh, we've exhausted our petroleum. We may need another one of these refineries to keep everything going. Needs a ton of power though. So hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos. And click that little bell if you want to get an email each time I release a video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.